What's up, YouTube? Okay, I finally got it, man. I have been eyeballing these things for a while. This is the Dango Designs gripper mount for the GoPro. Uh, I don't know how I came by this. I think it was a random YouTube video or something, and it caught my eye, and I thought, man, this thing would be perfect. Let me show it to you. Okay, basically, it's a gripper mount, and you're probably thinking, man, I've seen 100 of these. They come with every cheap $20 mount kit. Trust me, man, this is different. First of all, see how it's like webbed right here? Well, that's actually somewhat flexible. You can bend and move that. The top part has a rubber gripper with teeth. And I'll show you where that's going to come into play in a minute. Now, the GoPro mounts right here, obviously. And you can push this down and twist this to face, you know, any of the four directions. You can't really, you can't lock it in. I mean, you could twist it to like an offset, but it won't lock in unless it's in one of those four positions. Um, this is a really strong spring. I, I mean, I pretty much have to use both hands just to get it to open all the way. Um, but let me get a helmet and I'll show you what really intrigued me about this mount. All right, guys. Now, my main issue with Mounting GoPros on my helmet has been a couple things. One, all the helmets are different. You can see this one doesn't even have a flat top. So I had to put like two sticky pads and it still sticks up on the side and it's, it's kind of ghetto and I'm worried about it falling off. Um, some people will try to mount theirs on the side. I hate that view. I really prefer a view right here. And if you've seen my Moto Vlog set up, I took some Sugru. I put some Sugru right here built my own custom mount and that's where i moto vlog with um don't really have that option on this motocross helmet though this doesn't even have anywhere you can really sugar unless you just covered up that place uh, really just has no good mounting options you try to do the chest mount and everybody complains uh, so this is what made me this is what caught my eye about this mount the dango look at that and then clip it around that way, get a little higher. Uh, yeah, guys, those teeth, that's not, that's not coming off. You've got the perfect mount for moto vlogging, for motocross. Um, that's just, I think the chin mount is the perfect viewing angle. And this thing's not coming off, dude. Another issue I had is I would have to have a mount on every helmet. I've got probably three motocross helmets. I've got uh, my fly trekker for moto vlogging. I've got a street, a pure street helmet. Um, what if I want to pass the GoPro off to Krista um, or one of my buddies? They have to have mounts made up. I mean, I'm telling you, it is exhausting. I'm hoping with this, I can just pull it off, hand it to my buddy. He snaps it up on his helmet. It's not going anywhere. Should be good. Um, we're going to do some testing with this. We're going to early wine indoor motocross, uh, Wednesday of next week. And uh, we're going to take a couple different helmets and we're going to try to switch it back and forth real quick. See how painless and easy it is. Um, the only thing that worries me about it is how far that hangs down. Um, and I, I've tried it on and it, it's fine, but I'm worried about maybe in a crash that could hit your chest or something. I'm not sure. That's all preliminary guys, but I'm going to go out and ride some single track today on my KX250 and kind of really start to try this thing out. And then we're going to do more extensive testing Wednesday at Early Wine. I'll have videos up of both, so stay tuned. Um, but so far, I'm so super excited about this mount from Dango Designs. I'll put a, I'll put a link down below or something. And uh, I'm hoping to keep a few of these in stock myself. So if you guys want one, you can just get with me directly and I'll mail you one too. But... Uh, yeah, it's forty nine ninety five, and a lot of guys seem, you know, think that's maybe a little high for a mount. But I'm telling you, this is not your run of the mill plastic mount that you get off Amazon in a, in a big accessories bag, guys. This is quality made. The spring is strong. It's the rubber is strong enough to to hold, but yet it flexes. The teeth are good. Comes with this lanyard, and uh, I also didn't I didn't show you. But it also comes with a small bag of GoPro adapters. Um, 
got a couple little arms and stuff. I'll show you those in the next video. But uh, yeah, super pumped to test this thing out, man. So stay tuned. Thanks. good it is it is so nice to not have to worry about my GoPro hitting a tree branch above my head I can't tell you how awesome that is Well, I'm back from riding, guys, and this thing did not fail to amaze me. I couldn't believe it. Um, the position it put the camera in was perfect on the helmet. I couldn't even see the camera when I had the small version on there. Uh, my battery died on my GoPro, so I put this big case with this extended battery. It's a lot heavier. You can feel it on top of your head. I could also feel it uh, pulling down the front of my helmet just a little bit. It's a good bit heavier. But uh, <laughs> the Dango, dude, it didn't, it didn't uh, falter a bit. It didn't get, I didn't get any play. I didn't get any movement. I didn't get any shake. It never came off. It never moved. And if that thing will hold the GoPro and all this weight, man, you can't ask for anything more. This thing was amazing. And it was great. I come off the end of the day, and I literally just squeezed the clip and pulled this thing off my helmet. Uh, just so nice and honestly I'll probably leave this on my GoPro most of the time and uh, just clip it from helmet to helmet and not mess with this screw uh, the only thing I could tell I could think that they could maybe improve with this is this nut uh, on a lot of mounts it's like this where it's where it's by itself but on on some mounts they manage to keep it in there like glued or stationary um, I guess the benefit of it not being glued or, or stuck in there, molded in there, is you could replace it if there was ever a problem with the threads. The problem with it not being stuck is um, when you screw this bolt out and take it out, that can actually fall out. I actually had it fall out on the trail because um, I was fumbling around with it. But uh, I found it and put it right back in. It's not, it's not any kind of design flaw or anything faulty, but just maybe something small they could do to improve it in the future. But, uh, dude, this thing is the ticket. Um, it's worth every penny. I'm going to order a couple more of these things just to have on hand. Um, all right, we can go to the track. I can, I can throw one on my helmet, throw one on Chris's helmet, and just in, in one second swap the GoPro with anybody else at the track without having to worry anything, man. I'm super pumped. So uh, more testing uh, this week at Early Wine and um at club mx so we're going to test these things out a little more it'll go through this through the sand pretty good at club mx and we'll see how it goes but uh dan i'm super excited about this thing huge shout out to dango designs you've got a killer product going on here thanks so much and uh keep pumping these babies out